just a blessing. It's definitely a blessing. You know, definitely a blessing. For decades, he has maintained his innocence. Today, after more than 20 years, a judge declared Chris Miller a wrongfully imprisoned person. This is just the latest chapter in a story we've been following now for years. Miller's rape conviction was tossed out after DNA evidence proved he was not the man who attacked a Cleveland Heights woman in 2001. And now a judge is officially declaring it all a mistake. Five on your side, investigator Scott Knoll in the courtroom this afternoon. He has the latest now from the Justice Center. Chris Miller was 24 years old when he was arrested for that sexual assault. Miller then convicted at his trial of that attack right here at the Justice Center. Today, he returned to the same building to hear a judge say the words he waited more than two decades to hear. Christopher Miller is declared by this court to be a wrongfully imprisoned individual. His two-year-old granddaughter on his lap, Chris Miller, in tears as the judge ruled the state got it wrong when Miller was sent to prison. Man, I can't. My emotions are all over the place, man. And it's, it's, the feeling is just, it's, man. Man, I'm on a high right now. The entire hearing took only minutes today. Miller was freed from prison back in 2018 after his conviction was overturned, cleared by DNA evidence that pointed to two other men in the 2001 attack. But without an official declaration from a judge, Miller says he found himself looking over his shoulder. And I start having, you know, anxiety attacks here and there because, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, because I'm always worried about that. You know, that's always on your shoulder, you know, thinking about it when they come get me, you know. He hopes today removes that cloud of suspicion. So does his daughter, just five years old when she watched her dad get arrested. Trying to explain to people when you're younger that my father's innocent or all that, it's kind of like a, okay, yeah. Like now it's like real. A weight finally lifted, hopes attorney Jacqueline Green. It's so much more than a formality. This is the day after over 20 years of living under this shadow, under this cloud, under this weight that finally Chris was declared, he was recognized by the court and by the state of Ohio, the entity that put him in prison in the first place, to have been a wrongfully imprisoned person. A validation of the innocence Miller has always insisted. After nearly 17 years behind bars and more than three years of limbo, this father and grandfather. This feels good. This definitely feels good. This feels right. Ready to move forward. Even though, you know, I was in prison for a long, you know, it made me a better person, you know. Uh, I can't do nothing. I can't keep crying about it, or you know, hold no grudge, or you know, I never prosper in life if I keep going going by that way. You know, I gotta, I gotta do it the right way. Today's ruling also paves the way for Miller to file a claim against the state for wrongful imprisonment and potentially collect about fifty-seven thousand dollars a year for each he was locked up. Miller has also filed a civil rights lawsuit against Cleveland Heights Police. That case is still making its way through federal court. In Cleveland, I'm 500 side investigator Scott Knoll.